Hey YouTube, thanks for joining. Today we're just going to be doing a quick review of the new Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts 3 Shion figure. This figure is brand new, just got released. Uh, I pre-ordered this and kind of expedited the shipping here to the United States. So I had to pay a little bit extra, so it's not actually released um, in most stores in the United States yet. But before I get too far into it, I do want to say you can pre-order at camarts.biz for like 72 bucks. And I'll put the link in the description at the end of the video for that. Um, they also do like a lot of discounts and stuff, so make sure to check that out. But anyways, on to the figure. So, I'm just going to be doing a quick review, go over the box, go over the accessories, and then the figure itself. So real quick, just so you guys can see the box, I'm going to take this off. And as you saw right there real quick, she stands really well on her own. Um, the stand is really cool, really good too, but she doesn't really need it. Um, which is kind of cool, because she's in high heels, and at least I would think that would make it harder to stand. But anyways, so here's the box. There's the back of the box. Uh, the sides are just kind of, you know, some Kingdom Hearts stuff. And then in the front has a nice big window for viewing the figure. We're just going to leave that in the back um, for the rest of the review. But anyways, inside the box, it all comes in this nice plastic. There's three layers to the plastic. Uh, I think maybe four. Yeah, four layers to the plastic. So it holds everything in there real nice and tight and secure. Anyways, on to the accessories. So, she does come with a stand. Nice little Kingdom Hearts base. It just plugs into the center there. And it can bend up and down, spin around, uh, bend at the middle, bend at the top. And these claws do come off. They're detachable. There's a bigger one and a smaller one. And they do open there. Pretty firm, pretty good, nice stand. But like I said, she doesn't really need it. Uh, there's also this instruction booklet if you had questions about anything. Uh, one thing you do want to look for is the keyblade, the handle part, um, well the literal handle and then the bottom of the handle also like comes off uh, so you can slide it into the hands because the ones that hold the keyblade are closed like that. Anyway, so she does come with the keyblade. I'll show you that again in just a second. She also comes with two extra heads. I have the happy face on her right now. Um, and then this one with the hood, of course. Let's see if we can focus on that a little bit. Not really. Anyways, um, comes with the hood. Really cool. I like how there's like the zipper and stuff. Uh, here's the other face. Just kind of more of a serious, calm face. And then she does come with extra cuffs because the Keyblade is a little bit difficult to get um, in there. I don't know if you actually can. I couldn't. But I switched the cuffs. I actually just took the cuff off on this hand that I have the keyblade in because it allows for really good movement in the hand. So I like it better like that. And it looks fine without the cuff. Just looks like, you know, our sleeve's a little bit shorter. But yeah. Anyway, so it does come with extra cuffs. Um, and yeah, obviously those come off. You just have to take off the hand. They go on really nice and easy. They're rubbery. Uh, so the hands, there are a pair of closed hand fists and then the pair of open hand fists to hold the keyblade. And then two different sets of extended hands. One more of a fighting pose and one more of just a stance pose. So, I'm just going to take off the hand real quick to show you the keyblade. Here it is. Nice little keyblade. Nice chain hooked on there. And yeah, that's how it comes off. Nice little pull movement. Really cool. I really like that, actually. It makes it a lot easier. Some of the player arts kai's, you had to like bend the hand around, just kind of wore the figure down. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to put that back on. I was just going to leave it off, but it stays on really good, so I'm not really too worried about it. Anyways, articulation. Head can go all the way around, up and down. There's a point in the head and then at the bottom of the, or the base of the neck, too. Uh, arms can move up and down really good, get a really wide range of motion. They bend at the elbows. The cuffs spin since they're detachable. And the hands get a pretty good range of motion, even with okay, well, even with the cups on or the cuffs on. Um, I pushed it a little too far, but you know, they get a pretty good range of motion there. Um, and like I said, does look good just without the cuff, I think. But anyways, uh, two points of articulation in the stomach, one in the chest, and then one down in the stomach. Uh, the robe can be twisted; it's not um, attached, I don't think. But it does bend right there and in the back too. It's a little stiffer in the back, so it kind of gets in the way of the leg movement a little bit. But you could probably work it down. Um, but the legs do move up and down like that. They twist uh, up there closer to the base. The knees are double-jointed, so if you get them around the robe, you have a lot of movement. 
and then the heels do twist and go up and down and stuff like that. They don't go side to side. Uh, I guess that's okay. I don't really know how they could do it too well with heels anyways, but that is cool. I say that because usually the bring arts and play arts figures uh, do go side to side. But anyways, so that's pretty much it for the Shion. There she goes again, staying on her own. Um, pretty much it for the Shion. Like I said, just a quick review. Awesome figure. Uh, probably like a nine and a half out of ten. The only thing is that the cape and the or the cloak in the back is a little bit stiff. But other than that, really great. Uh, I think it's a lot better than the Axel and probably even the Roxas too. Uh, if you have those figures, the Axel is a little flimsy. But well, anyways. But anyways, uh, yeah. Go ahead and check out Camart.biz. They have a lot of great prices, uh, a lot of discounts. You can get free shipping over 150 orders, uh, orders of $150. And yeah, it's available for pre-order, like I said, because the Japanese orders have gotten delayed because of COVID. But definitely check that out. Please subscribe. Uh, check out my other videos. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, do all that good stuff. And have a good one.